Hey everyone, let's get to it. Today we're going to focus on getting our legs to have a little bit more of a pump. So the drills are not going to require, I'm hoping, not as much balance. So I'm going to try and break it down so it's a bit more simple. But you're going to require a lot of engagement in your legs. We're going to start with three sun salutations. So let's get to the front of our mats. Step up, feet forward, hip width apart, arms down, palms forward. We're just going to enjoy a nice three breaths here to start. So big breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. One last breath. Slowly bring our hands to prayer or just hands to chest and take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, release your hands. As you breathe in, bring your hands for a small back bend. Slowly make your way back to being in a neutral or grounded position. Hinge from your hips, forward fold. As this is our first forward fold, possibly of the day, or just if you've done any other ones, just allow yourself to open up. Um, and kind of just hinge. So thinking of your lower stomach finding its way on its upper thigh as you breathe out. So big breath in. And then sink a little bit deeper as you exhale. Two more breaths. One last one. Hands halfway on your chins, halfway lift. Two more breaths. And then one last one. Hands to the ground, step walker float, back to plank. A nice cat shape in your spine. We're gonna bring our knees down, five steps forward, elbows tight to your body, chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog. So bringing our hips back, flexing our feet, hips up. And this will be three breaths here. So this is our first downward dog, which can be intense. It uses a lot in your calves, your hips, um, your upper body. It kind of uses your entire body, to be honest. So we're going to think fingers, pointing fingers forward, extending biceps up, bending your knees if needed, heels kind of just finding their way to the ground. One at a time, or if that's not even something that is seemingly possible just enjoy the stretch big breath in here exhale two more one last one look to the front of that step walker float halfway lift forward fold Bend in the knees, coming all the way up. So if you don't have that room, you can always just make your hands come up. Forward, hands to prayer. And then we're gonna do two other ones. Um, so we're just gonna slowly release our hands, big breath in. These ones are gonna be a bit quicker. So breath in, small back bend. Reach back up, hinge from your hips, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Hands to the ground, step back to plank. Knees to the ground, biceps tight, uh, biceps forward, elbows tight, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, bring your hips back, downward facing dog, flex those feet. Look to the front of the mat, step walk or float. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend in the knees, coming all the way up. Hands to prayer. Release your hands, big back bend, or a little bit bigger than the last one. Reaching back up, hinge from your hips. Halfway lift. Hands to ground, step walk or float back. Chaturanga. 
You can use your knees down if wanted. If not, just go straight to it. Back to downward facing dog. We're gonna walk our feet to the front of our mat. Halfway lift. Hands to the ground, or hands behind our legs, or cross whichever way feels comfortable for your forward fold. Bend in the knees, come all the way up. Hands to prayer. So we're gonna start off by bringing some heat to our legs by utilizing a goddess pose. We're gonna turn sideways on our mat. Or to do this, we'll actually take a step back on our left leg, rotate to warrior two, and then kind of just pivot that foot up. So goddess pose is essentially, you're gonna go on your tippy toes and you're doing a wide squat here. We usually like having your hands into prayer, or if you need a blocks set of them, that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do calf raises and then we're gonna do pulses. And then we're just gonna do a nice long hold. We're gonna do three rounds, so 10 for each. So hands to prayer in front of you on block. It's all good. So we're gonna just lift our calves down. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna reach as far as we can and kind of just pause for ten, nine. Eight, keep your spine long. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, just open up a little bit wider if you wish. And then hands forward. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. So in through your nose. Exhale. In through your nose. Exhale, three more breaths, in through your nose, exhale, in through your nose, exhale, we'll do one last one, just for a good grace. From here, we're going to straighten out those legs, maybe shake them out if you feel like you need that. Okay, so we're going to go back to goddess and kind of add a little bit of a flow to that. So heels in, goddess. Turn to your left side first. You're either gonna go crescent lunge, just kind of a 90-90 lunge. We're gonna keep that knee floating the whole time. And then we're gonna see if we can kind of come forward. So extend that back leg, bring it back. From there, go skandasana. Push back up. We're gonna do this both sides. So heel down. Rotate in. Skandasa. See if you can touch or not. Reach up, push up. We're gonna go to the opposite side. So nice low lunge or got a squat. Turn that into a lunge. Turn that into a skandasa or a Kozak squat type style. Push up to the right. Goddess. Lunge, Kozak, push up. One last time each side. So we're gonna go to the front. Goddess, lunge, Kozak, push up to the right. So goddess, lunge. Kozak, push up, awesome. We're gonna go to the front of our mat. Just bring your way, make your way there. That's okay if it's not as elegant or anything. Big breath in, release, just one more breath. So from here, we're gonna do a little flow just to finish off. So this is gonna be a quick class today. Toes forward, step the left leg back, right knee even. We're looking for a warrior two. So from here, there's a bit of balance added. Um, don't, it's not that big of a deal. So we're just gonna go to a warrior one or crescent. So you to touch the one leg, bring it back. Warrior two, 
bring my leg down, right arm up. We're doing that three times each side. So back up to warrior two, warrior one or crescent lunge. Touch it, so we're staying low this whole time. That's where the engagement's coming through. Bring it back, warrior two, left arm up. One last time, warrior one or crescent, one toe touch. Bring it back, warrior two style foot, so that 45 on the back leg, left arm up, reach nice and tall. We're gonna go up to switch legs, we're actually gonna go into a chair pose. So try to bring your toes together, see how low you can go. We're gonna do five breaths here. Big breath in, exhale, big breath in. Exhale. That's two out of five. Keep that spine nice and long. Um, you can bring your arms into cactus, arms straight, or just keep them in the prayer. Big breath in. That's three, two more breaths. And then the one last one. We're gonna straighten up our legs. Feel nice and tall. And the resiliency that comes through doing yoga is by holding these poses, even though we may get that internal thought is like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get out of this. I don't want to do this. It doesn't feel great. It's okay to stay there regardless. Just kind of breathe, connect with your breath, slow things down. You will be fine. And if you need to modify, modify. The next time will be easier. We're going to go to the opposite side now. So we're going to step our right foot back. Put it on that 45 degree angle, warrior two. So the big important part is our foot's going on a 45 or times back until we go into this crescent lunge. From here, big toe to almost just a squat or a almost chair pose type thing. We can bring our arms up for it. Bring it back to that warrior style foot. And then left arm down, right arm up. Step back to warrior two. Crescent, we're gonna bring our arms up for it. Bring it back, lean forward. Chair type style, bring it back. Foot down on a 45, arm in, arm up. Warrior two again, one last time. So that nice long lunge, we're bringing the arms up this round. Arms to our chest, lean forward. Bring that foot together. The right one will try to stay just one toe touching or the front of our toe is kind of the calf raised. Bring that foot back, heel down. Left arm to the ground, right arm up. Big breath here. Back to that warrior two and then back to chair. Another five breaths in this chair. So getting as low as we can Arms either cactus, straight, or just in prayer. Big breath in. Three breath, four more breaths actually. Big breath in. Three more. Two more. From here, we're gonna bring our sit bones up, forward fold. I'm gonna widen my feet just to get a bit more comfortable within it and just allow everything to release. So this may be a shorter class in the end, never great with time, but if it is or isn't, your heart rate should have gone up at certain points. If not, maybe seek a bit more depth or a bit more engagement in your poses. So that might be just being a bit more present with the muscles. And Kind of getting a little bit deeper when you're doing either a squat or any of those parts. And if you did feel this just like I did, I'm happy you did. Next time will feel easier or you'll just be a bit stronger kind of thing. So repetition is key. Um, progress through progression kind of thing. Halfway left. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the ground. Stand walk, feet back to plank. We're just gonna bring our knees down 
And then from here, we're going to take a few breaths. So we're going to do cat cow to release our spine. So whether you were in flexion or extension, we're just going to rotate through that a bit just to release. Inhale, stomach down for a cow. Exhale, really high up with your mid spine for cat. Go for five of these, so that was one, big breath in. That's two, three more. This is a great way of getting your heart rate down, just connecting with your breath, breathe in. Two more. From here, we're going to bring our right foot up. Just go into a nice releasing lunge this time. So just a low lunge, kind of looking for length here. We're going to stay here for three reps. So big breath in. Make sure everything is square. Your spine is nice and long. You can even push on the knee or mid thigh. Try to make a bit more space. You should be feeling the bulk of this in your hip flexor, so last. One more breath. From here, we're gonna go into half split. So, like the many times we've showed this with block, you're just making sure that your body is square on that leg, the spine is nice and long, and the depth is not to go super deep. It's actually just to go seek sensation. And then every time you practice this, you will get a little bit deeper. It just takes time. Since our leg is already in the front, we're just going to bring our shin across and enjoy a nice pigeon pose here. So two tips for this is if you're feeling like your hip flexor is really high, like mine is, or it's really tight and you have a lot of space everywhere, you can either do the variation of bending the leg that's behind you, or if you feel like you have a lot of sensation, but you can kind of go a bit deeper. You can use that back leg to pull you back a little bit or place a block on I'm going to use the semi-bent leg. Make sure you still stay square on your shin as much as possible, or just making sure your shoulders are square. And from here, enjoy a slight release or just a collapse, kind of hinging your lower stomach. It's again square to your hips or to your right hip. Two more breaths. back underneath your shoulder flex the back foot we're going to go to a downward facing dog left heel up this time we're going to do the lunge or the low lunge on the opposite side just to give a little bit of a stretch and a release to finish so nice and deep if you need a block even for this stretch that's okay we recommend having it on a higher level just to help with the balance and thinking really nice and tall spine here. Two more breaths. And one last one. We're slowly gonna get to half split. And then from here, I always like actually thinking of rotating my toe in, so my big toe going down, big little toe towards me. It'll give me that much more of a stretch in my calf, especially with my toes pointing towards me. I'll fold them together. But little details like that will make a big difference. So enjoy the pose, kind of move through it, see where the sensation is, get nice and tall, kind of do a cat cow exploration kind of here. So giving a little back bend, a little tuck, and then seeing where the sensation is. Not looking to get too deep, just enjoying growth here. Big breath in. Two more breaths. And one last. 
last one. From here, we're going to bring our block to the side, bring our hands down, go back into that lunge, and then make our way into a pigeon pose. So you may be a looser or tighter on one side or the other. I'm going to bend that back leg still. It's almost like a modified 90-90, except it's a lot less, a bigger, sorry, a lot more of an angle than a 90. We're just looking to get in a modified pigeon. Bringing our forearms down, making sure everything's square. Three more breaths, big breath in through your nose. Exhale. Two more breaths. And one last one. Awesome. Bring both feet to the front of your mat. From here, as many of my classes finish, we're just gonna flex our core one last time and go one vertebrae at a time so we lay on our backs. Start off by holding onto our shins or knees, kind of doing a modified happy baby pose, keeping our low spine still on the mat, bringing our knees towards our armpit. Just looking to connect with our breath and slow things down. On the next breath, or the next exhalation, if you want to go into an actual happy baby pose, um, go for that. So big breath in. And on this exhale, grab the outside of your feet. We're looking to keep our lower back on the ground and bring our knees towards our armpits or the block lay of the ground behind us. Every time you exhale, feel a little bit more relaxation or um, your body releasing so that you can bring your knees a bit closer and kind of hinging your hips tighter. Two more breaths. And one last one. From here, Legs either straight at the corners of the mat or in a butterfly shape, it's up to you. Eyes closed, and we're just gonna enjoy five breaths together. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. See where you connect with your breath. Is it the air coming in, your stomach rising, or just your body feeling heavier as you release or exhale? Big breath in. One more breath. Well, thank you for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any requests or type of classes you wish after I'm done this beginner series, let me know. If you want to cycle through them, enjoy that. Um, regardless, I'm going to be releasing a lot more mobility classes as of next month or as of January 1st. I'm going to be putting a 30-day um, arm balance class, essentially how to handstand. So it's going to be showing the importance of certain fundamentals of that and how to get to it with the prep, um, exercises, using the wall, learning how to fall, all the good stuff that you need to know to get away from the fear and having the courage to try and handstand. And if you just want to do the exercises to get stronger, that's also an option. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Merry Christmas. It's coming quick, two more days. <laughs> and uh, otherwise, cheers, namaste.